happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. But more importantly, welcome to another spotlight video. This time brought to you by my homies over at KPO DJ. Today we are taking a look at one of the most neglected things in the DJ industry, mobile DJ industry, but one of the most essential and crucial parts, and that is tripods. Today we are taking a look at this set of tripods. These are the Frankenstein tripods. What makes these cool is that these are hydraulic tripods. First off, we have a carrying bag. Look at this. This is some heavy duty zipper work. Check that out. Very thick padded case there. You guys see the Frankenstein sign. Very nice. I'm very impressed already. So here we are. These are the Frankenstein. I don't know if you guys can see them. I'm having a hard time showing you guys top and bottom. Of course, tripods are more bottom than top. I'm doing my best, so bear with me. Regardless, here we go. These are the Frankenstein tripod. Easy up, easy down. The original powered speaker stand. Okay, so these are the Frankenstein's F1. They make two versions of this tripod. The F1 is designed for speakers between 35 and 50 pounds. The F2s are for heavier speakers, so if you have speakers that weigh between 50 and 80 pounds, F2 is the way to go. Pretty sure all my speakers are around 40 pounds. Whoa, I think I broke that. All right, so within the packaging, not much. We just have the tripods. It's pretty self-explanatory. You don't need an instruction manual to figure out how to put speakers on top of a tripod. You do have some warranty information. I would keep this around just in case anything does happen to it. Better safe than sorry. Woo! The Frankenstein F1 fifth generation. This is a speaker tripod on steroids. It was designed for DJs by DJs. Mike Ryan, the creator of this, he's also a DJ, DJ Mike on the mic, also known as Dr. Frankenstein. He created the original Frankenstein over 15 years ago. This is the fifth iteration of it, so he's gone back to the drawing board five times to improve his original design, and that's led up to this bad boy right here. Dr. Frankenstein is the original creator of these style of powered speaker stands. I know some of you guys might have heard of other brands that are doing something similar to this, but that's all fake news. He is the original creator and it's really quite a genius idea he basically uses shock absorbers similar to like the ones that you find in cars to create this tripod and man it makes our life a whole lot easier some specs on the tripod the legs are made out of thick wall aluminum and the centerpiece the center pole whatever you want to call it is made out of steel the legs here on the bottom are made out of rubber not plastic and one of the things that I do like about this is the fact that these are actually glued on one of the problems that I've had in speaker stands that I've owned in the past is that I oftentimes end up losing these at gigs these are glued on, so you can't even take them off if you wanted to. I love that. It reaches a height of 6.5 feet. The max load capacity is 80 pounds. The weight of the speaker stand is just under 12 pounds. Max leg spread is around 45 inches. Folded height is 44 inches. The construction features a plastic sleeve, sliding tube made of steel, a center tube made of steel, legs made out of thick wall aluminum, and leg braces made out of steel. I saw this on a YouTube video, so uh, don't try this at home. Woo! Can you see this? You see how it's holding all of my weight? <laughs> I know for damn sure that there is no way I can do that with my current tripod. That's insane. But what's a tripod without putting a speaker on it? So uh, let's do the speaker test right now. These are my JBL PRX 712s and let me show you guys why everybody loves the Frankenstein. So uh, I'm not sure how to do this because I've actually never used these, but let's just undo it. Ah. Okay, so the way this works is basically you pull this little lever here that you see here. It's kind of like a, a keychain tag thingy majig. Pull this out to unlock and then you unscrew this and you give it a little hand gesture and uh, bam. Damn, these go really high. Can you guys see that? It's touching the ceiling. 
retwist this twist this out and bring it down. So I'm gonna take the speaker off. All right, now there's a little warning notice that comes attached to this little loop right here and it basically says, do not raise your speaker stand without the speaker being on it. And I figured out quickly why they don't want you to raise this thing up without having the speaker on it. Basically, it works on a hydraulic system, which means it shoots the speaker all the way up. So there's a lot of tension. So to push it back down, you have to apply a lot of weight, you stupid. So listen to this, do not raise it without a speaker being on it. Whoa. So I'm gonna grab my other speaker, which is the PV. That one weighs in at exactly 49 pounds, so just under 50. And let's see if the Frankenstein will hold up with that one. Way to undo it one more time. You unlock it, that'll basically take the pin off those little circles there. And then you unscrew this. Now it's not gonna shoot up, but all it takes is a little push. And then boom, you are done. Damn, that is hot. Now let's take a look at the Frankenstein bag. This is the bag that basically is designed to go with your tripods and the quality of this bag is insane. I've never ever seen a tripod bag that was of this quality. I was reading an article online and basically they turned to golf bag manufacturers to manufacture a bag for a speaker tripod. That just blows my mind. The padding is super, super thick. Feels like this thing is ready to go to war. The zippers are super buttery smooth, heavy duty zippers. Take a look at the size of that zipper. You have handles not only on the front, but also on the side here. So you have a handle here, a handle here, and of course you have a handle for your shoulder so you can just go bada bing bada boom, super badass. The quality is insane. They did not cut any corners with this, spared no expense in the design. I wish you guys could feel how good this is. This is insane, guys. I love it. There really isn't much to talk about when it comes to speaker stands, but honestly guys, all things aside, please, please, please do not cheap out on your tripod. Not only to watch out for your back, something like this is gonna save your back, but also because I personally have learned firsthand. Okay, here we are. So this is gonna be where the cocktail is gonna be held. Um, I have two sets of tripods and I bought these on Amazon for like 20 bucks. It was a pair for 20 bucks. And I was like, oh man, I'm all over these tripods. They're only 20 bucks. But now that I've been using them, I realized that I've made a horrible mistake. These are super, super flimsy. It always feels like the spear is gonna fall off. These are cheap $20 Amazon ones then. Oh, I always feel like they're gonna fall down. Hopefully they don't. Fingers are crossed that they don't. But. Man, they were horrific. They were super lightweight, and I don't mean that in a good way. As in, they felt really, really cheap. When I put my speaker on it, it felt like the tripod was gonna collapse at any moment. Whenever I would put the speaker on it, the legs would stretch out like it was about to collapse. Also, these rubber foots, they were not glued on, so the first day out, I ended up losing two of these rubber stoppers on the foot. And the fact that this, actually has hydraulics don't do that the fact that this actually has hydraulics it'll save your back i'm only 21 and i'm already having back problems so that's my wrap guys on speaker stands do not cheap out on speaker stands i know it's something that we all neglect but speaker stands are a crucial crucial part of our dj setup so please 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 don't cheap out get yourself a pair of Frankenstein tripod. Woo! So there you guys have it. A first look at the Frankenstein F1 fifth generation. Big shout outs to the homies over at KPO DJ. If you want to pick up a pair of these tripods, I highly recommend that you check out KPO DJs. I'll list them down below. Also want to send a huge, huge shout out to the doc, Dr. Frankenstein for sending these speaker tripods over. Thank you so much. I'm going to list 
his website down below if you guys want to find out more information more specs about these stands i'm going to list the website down below where you can find out that info that's going to do it for this one guys leave any questions comments or concerns down below i'll be sure to respond to you guys if you like this video be sure to like it subscribe if you're new around here and if you really want to help me out don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time i do another product spotlight video signing off your boy your homie dj bar stay awesome bros peace